program like ours with the expectations that this program has, and sometimes you just forget about how nice it is to be able to win a basketball game. And that's all we're doing right now is we're just savoring in the fact that, uh, you know, it's good to come back home and win a game and, and get this, this uh, thing off our back and, and get going forward towards uh, March. So really, really pleased with the results tonight. That, that was the team I remember watching in November tonight. That was, that was the team that uh, played those first you know, eight and 12 games when we were eight and four and playing with all the big boys. So it was great, great to see that type of uh, play in the, the offense, the way we played with such confidence on offense, which we haven't seen in a month. So very, very pleased. We'll open up the floor for questions for the players. Dan Sticker at NorthOaklandSports.com. This is for Corey Beatrice. What transpired in the last 48 hours after the loss here on Thursday, it looked like you guys were completely rejuvenated. You guys were attacking the basket, sharing the ball, things you weren't doing in the games earlier this week. Uh, we just knew that we had to come out and play hard. We didn't want to go 0 and 7, so we just knew we had to come out and play hard and get this win. Reggie, could you just talk about the, the lineup again this time? You guys got it done tonight. What was, I mean, as, it's sort of the same thing as Corey. What, what do you think was the biggest difference between tonight and Thursday? Um, once again, uh, I think that lineup is a great, it's a great spark. You know, uh, it gets other guys that first had that position. You know, get some hungrier and you know, one to uh, get get that position back. So they appreciate those things. So um, once again, I think we came out with a, another spark, and tonight we, it looked way better than <coughs> the other night. We were a more co cohesive unit. Brian Evers from the Oakland Post, Reggie. Uh, Again, do you guys now, it's just one game, do you feel like you have that swagger back? And does it feel maybe a little bit like you've come up from underwater, up for air, it takes a little bit of pressure off your back? You got to have that swagger, man. Win is a win. That's, that's the positive. That's what it's all about is getting that win. So now, uh, you know, it's all about March, though. You know, we win three games in March. We forget about the rest of this season that ever happened. So um, a win is a win. It's a great thing to have. Neil Rule with uh, Oakland Radio. Corey. X's and O's aside, and scheme and everything, all that stuff aside, it just it looked personal out there for you guys tonight. What was it was it personal? I mean, the whole thing was losing six games straight, and we didn't want that feeling anymore. So I mean, we just knew what we had to do to come out and play, and we kind of took it personal losing like that. So we had to come out with fire and just do our best and just play as hard as we can. Matt Black at WXW Radio, uh, Reggie. You know, with Ryan Bass out there and starting a lot of long, heavy minutes, what kind of different looks are you getting both on and off the ball having another point guard out there? Um, well, with Ryan's scoring ability, um, the guy I noticed in the early of the game, a uh, guy on IUPUI, he was just pressuring me hard. So it gave Ryan uh, a wide open lane a couple, several times. And I don't think there's a lot of players in the country that can guard Bass one on one, you know, that high. And I think he um, did great with this opportunity tonight and showed what he's been working hard on. And I'm proud of him. But, you know, I mean, look at what we were from the three. But what we did is we, the insertion of Bass in the lineup and a Bass playing with confidence. Uh, and before his injury, he was heading to this. Uh, we get to ball the rim a lot harder and more. And now we also re rediscovered Corey Petros tonight. And now they didn't, they don't have a post player that, you know, like a Bell Holter or somebody like that that could guard him. So. But you know what? He, he scored against Michigan. He scored against uh, uh, Ohio U. He, you know, that had post players that can guard with anybody in our league. So we re, hopefully we reinvented confidence in him. We reinvented confidence in our players getting him the basketball. When you can score close to the basket, the reason we shot such a high percentage the last few years is because we got so many baskets from Benson and Hudson by the basket. And tonight we did the same thing with Petros, with Reggie on the drive, with Lavelle on the drive, and with um, uh, Bass on the drive. And then uh, Valentine's always going to get two or three easy ones in there because of his hustle and his rebounding. So that's why our shooting percentage was really good. We still haven't come out and shot the way I always thought this team could. I mean, I, I thought we'd have a 15 for 20 from the three night. I'd have, you know, and maybe we will and maybe we won't. But. The way we played offense tonight was how we played in November and you know, early December, which it's been a while since we played it. That's just the way we moved the ball, moved and 
we flew up and down the court and we had no hesitation. We get a rebound and we're gone. We weren't looking like, you know. So it was good to see, but it was one game. Questions for Coach Campy?